Welcome back to the Power Ranking Show. My name's Cam Williams, and with some big names falling down last week and losing in the first week of the grass court season, we have some big changes to the Power Rankings. Also, a couple of updates to the Power Rankings that I'll put down in the description below so you kind of can understand because a few people are asking me how these done, what are they based on? You can read all those down in the comments below. I'll put it in the comments as well. But let's start with number 20 in the power rankings for this week. So at number 20, we've got a new player into the power rankings and Matteo Berrettini. He has made his debut to the power rankings at number 20 after winning in Stuttgart last week. Had a very good comeback from injury and beat some good players along the way, including Murray to win the title. So he comes in at number 20. Coming in at number 19, three spots lower than last week is Belinda Bencic. The reason why Bencic went down is because last week when she played, she lost in the quarterfinal stage to Kudamatova. Now that's not a bad loss. We've seen Kudamatova here and there in the power ranks, but unfortunately that was someone ranked lower than her. So that means that she goes down the power ranks for this week. Coming Coming in at number 18 is Jill Teichman, one spot higher than last week. Teichman didn't play last week, but because Benchich went down, she got rewarded for that, so she's gone up in the power ranks. Coming in at number 17 is Cam Norrie, and again, didn't play last week, but due to Benchich dropping down on the ranks, he got a little reward, so he's gone up to number 17, one spot higher than last time. And both Teichman and Norrie are actually playing this week, so keep an eye on their results this week. And if they don't perform, they might drop out of the power rankings altogether, so keep an eye on both of them. Coming in at number 16 is Paula Badassa. She's gone down six spots lower than last week. Now, she didn't play last week, but with an adjustment we've made to the power rankings this week, from the comments that you guys made over the last few weeks, the retirements that she's had this year have now counted as full losses. Rather than being half losses, with this adjustment and having some retirement losses this year, she drops down the power rankings to number 16, six spots lower than last week. Coming in at number 15 is Jessica Bagula. She stays at the same spot as she was this time last week. Didn't play, so didn't change her ranking at all. Coming in at number 14 is Coco Goff. Again, didn't play last week after making the French Open final and stays in the exact same spot as she was this time last week. But Goff is playing this week in Germany. So we'll see how she does. If she has a good week this week, she might be able to go a little bit higher in the power rankings and try and break that top 10. Coming in at number 13 is Yannick Sinner. Four spots lower than last week. And just like Bedosa, with the new adjustments to the rankings, he's been penalized dropping down the ranks due to all the retirement losses that he's had this year, including the one that happened at the French Open. So he's dropped down the rankings to a more accurate number 13 in the rankings. Coming in number 12 is Andre Rublev. Didn't play last week. He goes up one spot higher just because Sinner dropped down so dramatically. He is playing this week though, Rublev, so keep an eye on his result and whether or not he can stay in that spot. Coming in at number 11 is Anissimova. One spot higher than last week, again, due to Sinner dropping down in the rankings. Now she's not playing this week and she also didn't play last week, so don't expect her to move too much over the next week, but she could be possibly playing next week. So just before Wimbledon, the power rankings don't change. It's not like the normal rankings where there's no points. Power rankings are always going to be changing no matter what happens with the normal ranking system. So keep an eye on Nissimova going into Wimbledon. We'll see how she looks. Coming in at number 10 is Kazakina. One spot higher than last week again. As a result of Sinner dropping down, she gets rewarded. Didn't play last week, but she is playing this week in Germany and has a pretty tough draw. So keep an eye on her because she might be playing some players that are actually in the power rankings currently over the next couple of rounds. Coming in at number nine is a new player, Alexandrova. Now she's rocketed up the rankings from nowhere. And by winning last week at the Labima Open, beating players like Sabalenka and Kudamatova along the way, that really boosted her ranking. So she's into the top 10 of the power rankings after winning that title. Coming in at number eight is Stefano Pass. He drops down three spots lower than last week. And that's because he had a poor result in Stuttgart last week. He lost to Andy Murray, which isn't a bad result if you look at their track record on grass. And obviously Andy Murray being a former world number one. But because Murray's not featured in the power rankings, losing to someone like Murray, who's way below City Pass in the rankings, that has affected his ranking. So he's dropped down three spots to number eight. And he is also playing in Heller this week. So we'll keep an eye on City Pass, who's been in the top 10 pretty much the entire clay court season for the power ranks. The grass court season could be his downfall. Coming in at number seven, is Kasper Ruud. Didn't play last week, but is playing this week. So keep an eye on him at Queen's Club. He goes up one spot higher than last week due to City Pass falling down. Coming in number six is Novak Djokovic again. Going up one spot higher because of City Pass dropping in the power ranks. He's not playing until Wimbledon. So expect Djokovic to stay in that top 10 until at least Wimbledon. Coming in at number five again. Going up one spot higher is Jabor because City Pass went down. Now Jabor didn't play last week. She is playing this week though in Germany. So keep an eye on Jabor. He's a pretty good grass court player as well so she might be able to boost her ranking over the next couple of weeks and during Wimbledon coming in at number four is Alexander Zverev same spot as last week he'll be staying in probably in the top 10 of the power rankings for the next few months 
while he's out with injury because the only way you can lose in the power ranks is if you lose to players on tour. If you're not playing, he's going to maintain his ranking, and I think he deserves it. He's had a really good couple of months before the injury. So Alexander Zverev, he comes in at number four. Coming in at number three, another player who didn't play last week and won't be playing until Wimbledon. Carlos Alcaraz, just ahead of Zverev there in the power ranks. And again, just like Zverev and some of the other players like Djokovic in the power rankings, we won't be seeing them to Wimbledon. So expect Alcaraz to be up there until we get to Wimbledon. Coming in at number two is Rafa Nadal. Of course, the same reason why some of these other players are so high up. He didn't play last week and he won't be playing to Wimbledon. So keep an eye on Rafa. Over the next couple of months, after Wimbledon, that's when we might see some changes to these guys. And of course, at the top of the rankings for another week, and that is Iga Swiatek Again, not playing until Wimbledon, so don't expect her to move much in the next two weeks. But she is top of the power rankings. She's won the last six events she's played. She's on 35 match win streak, and she's going to extend that hopefully at Wimbledon in a couple of weeks. So Iga Swiatek she tops the power rankings for another week. There you have it. There are the power rankings for another week. And like I said, the players that aren't playing the warm-up events for Wimbledon are going to stay where they are because there's no matches that they can actually lose to drop down or win to go up. So expect those players that aren't playing the warm-up events to stay where they are. But there's a lot of changes going around the outside of those players. But let me know down in the comments below who are you most shocked about being in the power rankings and maybe shocked about who's not in the power rankings right now.